welcome to the viewers today we are starting up with lecture 1 of data flow data flow style of modeling in the introduction session we just discussed about what we are studying what are the different styles of modeling and what are the learning objects objectives of data flow style of modeling just to have a recap on it we will be studying about continuous assignments assignment delays expressions operators operands operator types and data flow constructs in Verilog code so we'll be solving certain examples here to start with we'll focus on continuous assignments in today's session continuous assignment assignments so continuous assignment is the most basic statement in data flow style of modeling it is uh, normally used to drive a value onto a net the continuous assignment replaces gates in the description of the circuit and describes the circuit at higher level of abstraction so I'll just uh, write the syntax of it or you can also call it as a uh, usage usage or syntax so here we'll be using a statement called assign or I can say it as a, a keyword followed by a drive strength drive strength then followed by an optional delay you may or may not specify this delay then you will be having list of assignments so here when I speak about assign so in every data flow design style of Verilog code you will be finding this assign keyword Drive strength is all about it's about the strength of a signal strength of a signal can be either strong 1, strong 0, weak 1, weak 0 and so on you can even mention the drive strength and uh, again, again here in our studies throughout this uh, course we'll be not focusing more on drive strength so coming to the delay so we'll keep this uh, for the next session we'll be having in detail study on this delay List of assignments are like it can be any assignment. It can be like your you might be assigning y value of y with a, 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 a ended expression of a and b or a or b anything like that. For an example, I'll just take an example of uh, one of the continuous assignment statement. Assign y is equal to a ampersand b followed by semicolon so our assign is a keyword y is a variable or you can also call it as operand which will receive the value from the right hand side expression this in total we call it as list of assignments this is assignment operator these are operands and and, and operation is uh, happening here the value after computing will be assigned to y one more variation to this is assign hash 10 y is equal to a or b so here we have inserted one more statement here this is regarding delay so here after computation from the right hand side the value will be assigned to the y that is LHS only after 10 time units this time units we can specify at the beginning of the code it can be set to nanoseconds picoseconds or so on so here keep, keep we need to keep certain things in mind I just go on uh, listing it out first one is the LHS of an assignment must always be scalar or vector or concatenation of scalar and vector 
इट के नॉट बी स्केलर और वेक्टर रजिस्टर इट के नॉट बी कांट बी कांट बी अ रजिस्टर दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर कंकैटिनेशन ऑपरेटिव विल बी डिस्कसिंग लेटर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट टू बी रिमेंबर पॉइंट टू बी रिमेंबर इज कंटिन्यूस असाइनमेंट आर ऑलवेज एक्ट मीन्स वेन एवर देर इज अ चेंज और इवेंट ऑकर ऑन द वैल्यूज ऑफ द राइट हैंड साइड एक्सप्रेशन सो इट विल इमीडिएटली कंप्यूटेड एंड असाइन इट बेस्ड ऑन द डिले स्टेटमेंट दैट इज स्पेसिफाइड सो इट इज ऑलवेज एक्टिव द थर्ड वन बी द ऑपरेंट्स ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड कैन बी रजिस्टर्स कैन बी रजिस्टर्स और नेट्स और फंक्शंस सो रजिस्टर्स और नेट्स कैन बी ऑफ स्केल आर्स ऑफ फैक्टर्स दिस इज अबाउट आर एच एस द फोर्थ वन इज अबाउट डिले वैल्यू सो डिले वैल्यू कैन बी स्पेसिफाइड जस्ट आफ्टर द ड्राइव स्ट्रेंथ इट इज ऑल्सो ऑप्शनल आफ्टर असाइन स्टेटमेंट एंड बिफोर द लिस्ट ऑफ असाइनमेंट्स so here it almost you know resembles the delays by the gaps gates so we will be using this delay values for designing real time circuits so we have uh, seen some examples we'll just focus on few more variations in the examples let me take one more example wherein assign there is a address of 16 bit on the lhs and which is Value because vector can be allowed here. After the assignment operator, I am writing address one, which is again of 16 bit, or with address two, which is again of 16 bits. This is perfectly valid because even RHS can have vectors or scalars, and it will support register nets or functions. This is a valid statement. So the second example, the third example, I can say. One more example is. we can even use concatenation operator on to your uh, lhs see out sum 3 down to 0 concatenation operator is a flower bracket separated by commas see your see out pit and sum which is a four bit will be joined or concatenated this is the operation that is happening on the right hand side left hand side and now i am assigning the addition of 4 bit a value and 4 bit value of b added with carry n to it so whenever you add 4 bit plus 4 bit number there is a chance that you will be getting a output of 5 bits because whenever there is a overflow we call it as carry overflow we need to have a space to accommodate it to accommodate it we have reserved one more bit called c out and we are joining it so this is one more statement or one more example for continuous assignment statements now we have the next topic called implicit implicit continuous assignments implicit continuous assignments instead of declaring a net and then writing a continuous assignment on the net verilog provides a shortcut by which a continuous assignment can be placed on a net when it is declared i'll take an example to explain this in a better way so example goes like this wire out I have declared a out variable of type wire and i am using assign out is equal to I in one ampersand with I in two. This is a normal way of declaration, or else I can say it as regular continuous assignment. So up till now, whatever we discussed before we start this topic, implicit continuous assignment, we term it as regular assignment statements. Now we are studying about implicit continuous assignment. This can also be written as I'll write as same effect as above. if we write it as wire out is equal to i in one i ampersand i in two here you can observe that i have not declared out variable separately and i am not using assign 
Just before I said that assign is one of the keyword wherein we'll be using in every data flow style of modeling, in this particular instruction, there is no assign, but it is implicitly understood that assign is being used here. This is called implicit continuous assignment. The very next statement, our next topic that is there for a study is delays. Delays. Delays is part of continuous assignment statements and we have a uh, following different kinds of delays uh, for our uh, study here. One is <coughs> regular assignment delay. Regular assignment delay. Second one is implicit continuous assignment delay. Implicit continuous assignment delay. Third one being, or I can say, slight variation in the above regular uh, assignment delay. That is net declaration delay time. These are the three things that we are supposed to study now. So first we will take regular assignment delay. So in regular assignment delay, the delay value is specified after keyword assign as we observed in the example before. I'll just take the same example here for explanation. Assign hash 10 out is equal to IN1 ampersand IN2 and operation. So here what all things happens we'll analyze this using a using a test cases that I'll be you, um, drawing in terms of test bench waveform. So here is a test bench waveform. IN1, IN2, and it is out. And these are time details. I'll use uh, other ink. So I mark the time units here. So let it be 10 time units. This is 20, this is uh, 30 and I'll just take a jump here directly 60 then 70 then 80 then I just take a difference of y. 85. I have intentions of taking uh, in that way. Now, I'll take the input in this manner. So, I in 1 is set to logic 0. At time unit 20, I'm changing it over and I'm continuing it till 60 time minutes and again there is a changeover. Then I'm continuing it same and at 80 again there is a changeover and at 85 again there is a changeover. So for your understanding, this is logic 0, logic 0, logic 1, 0, 0, this is 1, this is 1, this is 0. So I into where is in this fashion? Till 20, it is uh, logic 0. And after that, it continues to stay at logic 1 thereafter. Now we need to draw a timing diagram for this. So here what happens is, coming to the statement, out variable receives the Evaluation of the right hand side expression only after 10 time units that you are supposed to observe carefully here. So up till 10 time units, the output is unknown here because assignment statement provides 10 time minute delay time units. So here it is logic 0 and logic 0. This effect will be observed at the, at the output only after 10 time minutes. 0 ampersand with 0, 100 with 0, I will be getting 0. And again at here I'll be checking again if there is a logic 0 and logic 0 after 10 time it's it stays to be logic 0 and here there is a change over i in 1 and i in 2 so both have logic 1 now 1 ended with 1 will be having logic 1 but that will have effect on output only after 10 time units delay you can see at 20 time units your input is changing but your output is changing responding to it only after 10 time units and it continues thereafter 
So you know, again, there is a change order. It, it is not affected because it need to. It needs to wait for ten time minutes. Zero ampersand with one is logic zero at the output, but that will not be affecting here. Rather, it will take an effect after ten time, time minutes. That is seventy. And again, it continues. So here again, there is a change order. This is very important. Very very important. So here. The in I in one is changing over from zero to one at eighty time minutes, and again it is changing over back to zero at eighty five. You can see the pulse width here; it is of five time minutes. So whenever the pulse width of the input is less than that of the mentioned delay, then that goes unnoticed. That goes unnoticed. This you should remember, which is very important. And this delay is. Also called as inertial delay. Called as inertial delay. Regular delay is also called as inertial delay. Very important concept. Pulse width, whose width is less than the mentioned time units of the delay, is ignored. It will not be having any effect on your output side. Then coming to the second type of uh, delay. This is uh, first one. Second type of delay that is implicit continuous assignment delay. So here again, I will take an example to explain it. So that will help me out in explaining in a better way. Wire hash ten out is equal to i in one ampersand with i in two. It has got same effect as as if if I write wire out separately and then assign Hash ten out is equal to i n one ampersand with i n two. This statement we had earlier discussed during implicit continuous assignment. Same way, it has got same effect if we write wire out is equal to i n one ampersand i n two. So here I am inserting a delay unit here after wire. I am inserting a delay unit. So this makes the difference. I have two statements here. Here I am just replacing it with only a single statement. I am inserting a delay time unit just between wire and out. Now that completes your implicit continuous assignment. Now we'll focus on the third one, that is net to declaration, net to declaration delay. Again, I'll take an example here, very easy to understand. Wire hash ten out. So here, while declaring the output, I'm not having an expression. I'm defining defining a ten time units delay here itself, and while Using assignment operator, even though I don't use a delay unit, but it is understood that out will get the value of the right hand side expression only after ten time ten time minutes. This is having the same effect as above. As above, these two two statements are having same effect as above, and this is called net declaration delay. Thank you. We'll continue the. next part uh, or next learning objectives in the next session thank you